Good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday the 14th of May, and I just wanted to give you a video message. I haven't done one for a while, but I thought it was important to address you all as parents and carers now via a video message, due to the fact that we've had a spike in COVID cases. As you know, since the start of the pandemic, we've had relatively few cases for both staff and students, but recently, over the last few days, we have had a spike. We've now had 12 confirmed cases, which span across four different year groups. Year 10 and 11 are all out at the moment, and we have a bubble class in year eight and a one year nine that are out as well. So it's really, really important that the students that are now working from home engage with the remote learning. We have had high uptake over the past few days, but it isn't at 100% and we need all students engaging with the live lessons, the loom lessons and the activities that each teacher has been, has been set for their class. We know from the last pandemic that students that did engage came back and they weren't behind. They were on point, they were making the progress that they needed to and we found that those students assimilated back into the lessons much better than the ones that hadn't been working. It's about routines. And if students follow their normal timetable, then that routine, that rhythm of school isn't lost. This isn't a full lockdown, so it won't be for a long time. So we do need that level of engagement. If you're stuck or you haven't got the right kit, then you need to let us know. We've broken down quite a number of barriers over the last few days, but there may be more to come. If we don't know, then we can't act. You will be receiving the wellbeing calls, which have been restarted this week. Please speak to that person or contact us on the normal switchboard and we will swoop in if you like and help and make sure that you've got the right kit that you need. The access to the, in, to the work is vital, but the engagement with the teachers who are live on the lessons all of the time is vital and very, very important. I, I have liaised with public health over the last couple of days. They feel that we've dealt with the situation very, very well, that we've dealt with it very, very swiftly, and they can find no recommendations as to how we need to change our operation in school. With that in mind, Despite what Boris said the other day regarding the relaxation of rules around masks in school, at Aspire we will be keeping the status quo. That means from Monday we will just be carrying on as normal, masks will still be worn in class. We have very, very high uptake of students wearing them in class, which means that every child is kept that bit safer. And we will also keep wearing masks in communal spaces such as corridors, etc. I don't think now is the time with the cases that we've had to be relaxing the rules. It's important that our risk assessment is kept in place and that we keep going. I'll review the situation at half term and we'll take it from there, essentially. If we work together as parents, carers and the school, we will ensure that this is um, stopped in its tracks and that we can move forward quickly. I will communicate in writing exactly when each year group will return. Due to the bitty nature of year 10 going out and the high number of cases in year 10, it's important that we make sure that every child arrives back in school at the right time when it's safe to do so and making sure that we don't spread the virus further. So as I say, I will communicate that in writing. Listen, have a fantastic weekend, stay safe, let's look after each other and hopefully in the next few weeks we'll be out of this and we can move forward and look forward to the second half of the summer term and uh, a further re relaxation of the restrictions in the near future. All the very best.